Hello there and welcome back. It's been, um, some time. And on that note, bizarre flipping. So we're going to start off immediately with looking at some books because they're usually pretty effective. And the one we're going to look at first is going to be Last Stand. Now, obviously, this is a typical book flip, so we're going to make a buy order for 16, which costs just under 3.4 mil, which we'll be able to sell for around 4 mil. So pretty effective. This is a lot better during Paul. So if that happens this week, this is a good flip to do during that. All right. So it's been a little bit over five minutes and our last stand order is filled, which means we can just run on over to a uh, to an anvil. All right. After combining our book, we're just going to be able to go right on over to the bazaar and sell it again. Now, I obviously recommend that you sell off for this because knowing it, there's going to be a sell, uh, like instant sell that it's worth. It's still profitable, but you're losing about 700k. So don't do that. Next book we're going to look at is the growth book. I'd recommend searching for it. And we're just going to be looking at growth six as growth seven is just very slow and you'd be lucky to get one and it's not going to sell at 500 mil. But for growth six, we're just going to make a buyer for one. See if it fills. There should be around eight or nine of these an hour. And you can always snipe dark dark auctions is that where they're attained from so it's been around five minutes or so and our growth book is actually filled which means we could just buy that sell offer for a clean one mil profit only if it sells though but we're, we're gonna hope we're gonna hope the final book we're gonna look at is the sunder book which we're not gonna look at one to five although this is a pretty decent flip as well it's just not as effective as sunder six but you can do this as well also, don't be a guy that tries to buy two Sunder 5s and combine them into a Sunder 6. It, it doesn't. This is a rare drop. But we're just going to make a buy order for one, similar to the growth book. And we're just going to hope that fills. Oh, right. Also, Sunder 6 just sold. I don't know how long that was. I'm going to have to look at that in the recording. But uh, we got it now. We have to just sell off for it for uh, 700k-ish. The first item we're going to look at is in the end and Dragon Fragments. Now, I recommend doing Young Dragon Fragments, but all of these work. It's just that Young has the most buys and sells, so it's the fastest. So I'm just going to make a buyer for a stack and see how that works out. All right, I was about to show off the, another one, but I guess our Young Dragon frags have already filled. So we're just going to take those sell offer. We are only getting around like a 16k profit, but it's still pretty good because it took us only a few seconds. So, you know, it's pretty good. Also, you can turn it into Young Dragon armor, which sells for more. The next thing we're going to look at is in the oddities section and under fuels. Now I recommend doing hamster wheels, but foul flesh also works. This is just slightly faster and a little bit more profitable, but both of these make around 10 mil an hour. So we're just going to get like, I don't know, 16 of these because I'm kind of broke and I need points for the next flip, but we're going to get 16 of both and we're just going to see how long that takes to fill. The final flip we're going to look at is in the mining section under the glacier tunnels and it's going to be suspicious scrap. Now these are a little risky as the price changes a lot. But I'm going to try and get, I don't know, we'll say 10. And hopefully those sell. These are pretty profitable. They just take a lot longer. So you have to be a little bit more patient. Alright, so this next flip is a little complicated. But we're just going to jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want is to go to the bazaar. We're going to look at mining, coal. And I recommend doing this with just enchanted as it's going to take a lot of time to get it from coal. But it technically is cheaper. But we're going to need a buy order of 1204 enchanted coal. That will cost us just about a million coins. And the next thing we're going to want to go is into the Crimson Isle, look at Sulfur, and we're going to want 76 Sulfur. Finally, you're going to want 6,912 Gabagool, which is over in the Slayers, Inferno Demon Lord, and, um, no, it's not. I'm stupid. Oh, God, it's not in there. It's freaking, like, where is it? Uh, Inferno Minion. It has its own stupid section. I don't know. But you're going to need 6,912 and that's about three and a half million. So we're spending just about four and a half million coins, maybe a little over, and uh, we're also gonna have to get a few more items. But we're just gonna work with this for now. All right, we've been here for like a few minutes and our sulfur and cola filled, and now we're just waiting on the gabagool. But what we have to do with this is we gotta turn this into sulfuric coal. So for that, I don't know why I'm doing it like this, but this is the recipe, and we're gonna need a lot of that. And right, of course, life can't be easy. All right, now you're going to have a little bit left over because, uh, math, or I did my math wrong. We will get there when we get there, but now with our crew Gabagool, we're going to start claiming this, hopefully still have top order, and we're going to be turning all this into fuel Gabagool, which is pretty much exactly the same, but except we do this, we fully surround it, and that'll turn it into fuel Gabagool. So we're going to, uh, you know, I don't need to show the recipe, I'm just going to start quick crafting. And there we go, we've got all of our... We now have fuel gabagool. Now we're going to wait for all of our gabagool to fill before we go to the next one. Gabagool's a fun word. All right, now because uh, 
I'm being a little bit uh, impatient because we've had this order up for, you know, about 10 whole minutes, which is a lot of time. Uh, we're just going to insta-buy the rest, which you do lose about 1 mil in profit if you buy insta-buy everything, but we're only going to lose a little bit. So I need to insta-buy 3,531, I think is what that said. Um, that's a buy order. Okay, now we're going <laughs> to... All right, I'm a genius. Now we're just going to put all of our fuel gabagool over in here. What am I... It's not... All right, you know what? We're a little high. It's... We got to surround the whole thing. All right, let's... Let's calm down for a second. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. And that gives us 12 heavy gas. Oh, I forgot the extra one. No, I'm stupid. Okay, add. Then then we um we insta buy 12 coal. I forgot that we need one to turn it into the thing. Oh, my math was wrong. Yeah, you're meant to have three leftover coal. Oh, I'm such a throw. Wait, how am I even more of a throw? Just, you know, give me the hypergolic one. I don't even know how I'm doing this. Yeah, it's, it's in this, like, plus formation. Whatnot. You, you know it. You love it. Okay. We now have a hypergolic gabagool, which we probably spent like 5.2 mil on, which could sell us for 6.3. We could do that. Or what we could do is go back to the Inferno Minion, buy some Inferno Minion fuel blocks. We're going to buy her two of those and hope that someone does stuff. And then we're going to go into the Slayer section, Inferno Demon Lord. And uh, these all work as long as you don't do like Glowstone or Nether Wart. But I recommend Blaze because it's pretty cheap. We're going to need six of these distillates. That's like 27k. Our scrap is going. Oh, I am not in the mindset to flip right now. Holy. All right. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go into editing because my f I I'm fuel. Give me like two of these. Insta buy. Oh, I'm causing so much trouble for editing self. Like, oh my gosh. I'm going to be like actually dying. And now this is really bad in buying these it's like twice the price but like who cares what's the worst that could happen anyway now you're gonna go to a crafting table throw this in the middle put both these fuel box like you know blah, blah, and then do that and now you get inferno minion fuel which instead of selling this for 6.3 mil we just spent like another 100k because you know why not actually it's like 200k because it's stupid and now if we search up inferno uh we're gonna get a bunch of crap sure but and then if we filter by legendary because that's what we made. We made it with the hypergolic. And knowing it, this is a blaze fuel. It's a magma cream. Of course. Is there just none with blaze right now? No one wants blaze? Well, I guess this uh, LMTQ guy decided to buy up the entire market and put magma cream only. So we're going to just put our 401 with blaze. We're going to put it at like 8.3 mil as well. Because no one really cares who's going to do 8299. 999 because i'm a bad person now these do sell uh, probably like 20 a day maybe but they take a while so that's that flip out of the way let's just finish off with our scrap we've got six of them that means we spent almost four mil on these and we're gonna be able to sell off for them for about 4.3 pretty good stuff we're gonna these are gonna sell eventually but i can't be bothered right now i kind of rushed this video because i was expecting to just have like a bizarre tutorial ready and then i realized i don't have a bizarre tutorial ready because i decided hey why don't instead of just you know taking a screenshot of the bizarre let's just put 74 custom titles in and just make it look better but there we go one scrap sold i don't know oh and um yeah we're gonna try and do some daily uploads too so we're gonna get into that so uh hopefully i'm less insane tomorrow or Tomorrow's, tomorrow's, tomorrow, tomorrow, the day after, the day that's next after this video. Goodbye.